Hey, many bash. 7th of September, 2018. And this is a very, very, uh, wow. I, I really can't explain this one all that great. What else is new, right? Uh, but this is pretty crazy because I believe that what we're being shown here is a huge ritual, very much like 9-11, uh, unfolding. Uh, coming together and soon to be fulfilled. Let me get rid of that. Um, this is very, very interesting, but it's it's kind of complicated the way that it's been shown to me. At least I haven't really sorted it all out. I'll probably get back to it later, but I just wanted to show you this uh, this morning. Um, it was announced yesterday that Trump will be attending the ceremony in Pennsylvania, where Flight 93 crashed, okay? They're dedicating a new memorial there. Uh, a very strange memorial, actually. Uh, this Tower of Voices, it's called. Uh, so it'll be open for the 9-11 17th anniversary, Flight 93. And Trump will be there, okay? Now I want to go over this, but this is this this is just a preliminary uh, showing for you here because you know I gotta go. <laughs> uh, but Trump will be at the Pennsylvania ceremony. Okay. Now we know that many of the things we've seen recently are pointing towards an event. It's just it's in the air. The spirit is there, and now we can really see this ritual, this whole thing coming to its uh, its climax, I guess you could say. A couple days ago, this came out. How the Wizard of Oz ruby slippers were found after 13 years, okay? The original slippers in the Wizard of Oz were silver. And then we have the, gold, the yellow brick road, which is the gold. This is all pertaining to economy, to money, right? That's what it all points to, right? And at the same, on the same day, we had another article come out that was extremely weird uh, about the Simpsons, of all things. In the BBC, they wrote this article yesterday, uh, revealing a big mistake from the show, they say. And the big mistake is something so simple and so ridiculous that it's, it's actually an insult to anybody who's watching anything. It's a mockery talking about how Maggie was shown in a picture on the wall of the Simpsons house while Marge was pregnant with her. So how can that be, Simpsons producers? How could Maggie be in a picture on the wall while Marge was still pregnant with her? Explain yourselves. But there's no mention whatsoever for them to explain themselves when it came to this episode, which was episode one of season nine, nine one, and it's all about nine eleven and the money. Notice the money. That is the most important thing right here, right now. This is a, a ritual that is leading up to this new world currency. I'm convinced of it. That this is the moves that we're seeing being made right now, leading to that. And they give us this lame. Simpsons uh, ridiculousness and of course you know how they work they, it's everything is just it's ridiculous but the, the ruby slipper the Wizard of Oz the yellow brick road Donald Trump has been uh, playing Elton John music at his rallies from day one he even said in an interview that one of his favorite artists is Elton John where on the contrary, Elton John does not like Donald Trump. In fact, he played a, a uh, concert to benefit Hillary Clinton. So what does that tell you? They're all in the same club. They, they all follow the money god. That, that's their god, is the money. And they are just minions and parts of Satan's plan to move into the next phase. And it's going to be through the monetary system, through the money. Just like it says here, a new world currency this year, the Phoenix, right? And we even see Donald Trump back in 1988, okay, 1988, 
hanging out with Elton John in his Masonic regalia, okay? And it just so happens that that's when the Rothschild article came out, 1988. Okay, so it's all kind of forming together here. Everything is just falling into place. And not only that, this is the craziest thing, right? Come to find out, Elton John is going to be playing in Philadelphia on September 11th. Okay, farewell Yellow Brick Road. Okay. The ruby slippers just happened to show up after 13 years, right? And we have Trump going to dedicate this creepy memorial in Pennsylvania. And it is creepy, I tell you right now. First time I saw it, I'm looking at it, and they're going to have 40 chimes in this tower, right? That's, that's what it's uh, designed to, to do, is chime. 40 chimes are up inside this this creepy tower and if we look at it there are six columns right in this tower with 40 chimes so my my little brain just says hey you know take out the calculator and divide 40 by 6 and see what you get and it just so happens to be 6.6666666666 okay so this is all a satanic ritual the whole thing and, you know, Trump's involvement is just the fact that he loves money. That that puts him in the ring with the devil. It's, it's like, that's the way it works. If you love money more than you love God, then that's who you work for. You work for the devil. That's all there is to it. And at the same time, we got North Korea coming out frustrated at skeptics because of his faith in Trump. Okay? Trump has been mocking this guy since day one, calling him Rocket Man, Elton John, who will be in Philadelphia on September 11th. Trump will be in Pennsylvania as well on September 11th. I hope this makes sense because it's all just part of a big ritual. It literally is. And when I was looking at all this stuff, I'm like, wow, this is crazy. I, I always look for confirmation, and I typically ask for a Bible verse. I just hit a random verse, and literally whatever comes up is what it is. It's either a confirmation or it's not. And I get Revelation 3, 20, 21. And I want to go directly to the, to the book. I want to go right to Revelation 3 and show you this, okay? This is talking about the church in Laodicea, all right? This is where he's telling the churches, this is what you need to do. This is the deal. This is, I'm coming and you need to be ready. And to Laodicea, what does he tell them? He tells them, because you say, I am rich and increased with goods and have need of nothing, and knowest not thou that thou art wretched, miserable, poor, blind, and naked. That's what he's saying to the church of Laodicea. Why? Because they are rich and in need of nothing. Who are we talking about here? You see what I'm saying? And so we have brethren out there that are doing well, that uh, really don't seem to have any problems and, and don't see the darkness encroaching in the world. But they're still brothers and sisters. So this is literally a message, a, a shout out, a warning to the church of Laodicea, because you guys are uh, lukewarm. I mean, you know, as many as I love, I rebuke and chasten, he says. So be zealous and repent. Turn away from the shiny things and the comfort of this world, because it's all about to come to an end. It is literally all about to come to an end. And we've looked at this, you know, I've, I've shown you this, multiple multiple times um, but it's important that we you know keep up on this stuff it really is uh, this this particular uh, time frame I've shown you before but I went to the seventh today which is today and it is 11 199 which is pretty doggone interesting you must agree I would think uh, multiple 911s in there and, and I only point this stuff out because I know that we're being shown things. I just really, you know, putting all these pieces together.
can really be quite a taxing, a taxing thing, to be quite honest with you. But, you know, we do the best we can. But 9-11, I'm telling you, and even today, you know, from here on out, uh, it's just a, it's a done deal. It's just a matter of it unfolding, okay? You know, that you, you can't deny the level of virtually, it, it, it is a ritual. It is an absolute ritual. Why would they come out with this? This useless, useless uh, article with no mention of this, of course. And it all comes back to that. Okay? Yellow Brick Road, Silver Slippers, 1988, Elton John, Elton John's playing in Philadelphia <laughs> on 9 11. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I don't know exactly what to make of all this, except that I know it's a warning to those brethren out there who just, they're lukewarm. I mean, how else can you put it? I mean, this is what the word says. Thou art lukewarm, man. And he's going to spew you out of his mouth if you don't turn and repent. Okay? Just like he says, as many as he loves, he rebukes and chastens. So, this is a rebuke of, you know, you passive, well-to-do Christians who think that you can just sit on your wealth or sit on your comfort and everything will kind of pass you by. <laughs> You know, no bunkers or no piles of money are going to save you from what's coming upon this world. It's just not going to happen. So you need to repent and turn to Jesus. Okay? Why do you think they're going to dedicate this thing Sunday instead of on 9-11? It's a real good question. It's the last day of Elul. It's the last day of the Jewish year, Sunday, which is important in its own right. Okay, so there's a lot here, a lot, and and my ability to, to get into the details is limited. You know, you ought to take a look at this uh, memorial that they built there in Pennsylvania. This thing is huge. This is, this is almost a mile wide, this giant memorial that they put together on 2,200 acres in Pennsylvania with all their little satanic push pins you know it's crazy you guys but you know there it is it's all just spelling itself out that this is coming i mean this is definitely something that is upon us i mean the money people don't forget that's what controls the world through satan is the love of money so i know we all need it to function in this world but God provides and there's always an upright and honest way to provide for your family so you know just stick to the word praying always because this stuff is coming upon the earth like anytime anytime we're gonna see this begin to unfold in a big fashion and you know there's not gonna be all this time we have now to calmly sit and pray and, and really get ourselves squared away before these things start to happen. The 666 tower, you know, I mean, this is crazy stuff, but you know, it's real, it's there, and there's no denying this stuff, okay? I mean, quite frankly, it goes, it just goes on and on and on, really. We could talk about the Simpsons. I, I, I find this extremely interesting that they're talking about Maggie, 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 ep season 6, episode 13, 613, and she's pregnant with the Magi, because that's what that is. You know, there is a whole sect of people out there practicing magic, and they call themselves Magi, 2G Magi, and it's through scientific-minded magical practices, mocking the biblical Magi. The three wise men. What did they do? They brought gifts. Right? Gold. Frankincense. It's all spelling it out to me. And I just pray that this makes sense to you. And that you just seek Jesus and, and seek his counsel. Because the things that are coming 
our carnal minds and the way that we typically think, myself included, how I can maneuver my money and I can maneuver, you know, supplies and all these things. You know, I'm not saying that you don't do those things. That's just using your sound mind. But ultimately, this is all resulting in an all-encompassing darkness and all the cover the whole earth with this wicked satanic control system. This is setting up the beast system. We will see this occur. Okay? So you got to be ready. You need to be ready. Physically, mentally, and above all, spiritually. And that's Jesus Christ. You stand firm with him. And all these things, they will not affect you. And that's just the truth. So seek him as usual. First, foremost, and always. And keep praying up. Hope this blesses someone. I truly do. Peace and grace to y'all. Many fish. Finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, 